we get into it. Let's uh, introduce our first time guest. Very exciting because we're going to be talking about one of the movies um, that we saw the trailer for, but he's happened to have directed it. So it's another director, another mm-hmm. horror director. Um, and uh, I, I met this gentleman. Uh, actually, I was on Doug Loves Movies a couple weeks back, mm-hmm. and he was <laughs> in the audience with uh, the doll from his movie <laughs> in the most <laughs> creepiest front row person I've ever seen in <laughs> I was like, well, here's either the director of the film or a crazy person. Oh, I was like, oh, this yeah. guy, this guy has a necklace of ears. Yeah. I mean, this guy, this guy has someone in his basement, even though there's not a lot of basements in California. Mm, he'll find one. He'll find one. He's like yeah. the one guy from Zodiac that had one. <laughs> um, so uh, the director of the new Annabelle movie and also lights out, ladies and gentlemen, David F. Sandberg. Hello. Hey. Long time listener of the show. Uh, which no, is fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, you were like, I came up to you after and I was like, hey, man. Well, because during, I, I was making fun of you a lot during those movies, <laughs> yeah. but you played along quite well because he just sat in the front row. With because so Douglas movies, I'm sure many of you know. I've, you've been to those shows. People make uh, name tags. Mm-hmm. So Doug always comes out first before he brings a guest, and I hear him like, "Oh my God, who's this guy? You is that the Annabelle? How'd you get the Annabelle doll?" And he's like, "I'm directing the new one." <laughs> <laughs> and, so, <laughs> and I finally had a ni- name tag. Like I go to that show all the time, but like, I've never bought a name tag before. And then it's like, "Hey, <laughs> I actually have some." And okay, Annabelle Creation. Yeah, yeah, that works. <laughs> <I'm> like, <"Yeah." laughs> Which was great. And so. No, no one on the panel picked it because everyone's like, well, this is freaked out. This is crazy. And it would only work if it was in the front row. Right. He's like, in the front <laughs> row, and then you have a very good, like, deadpan face. So you were, like, not intentionally not smiling to freak people out or something? like. No, that's my face. That's why actors I work with, like, after each take, they like look at me and they're like, was that good or like because <laughs> they can't tell like what did he think the of the director that? hates me yeah, yeah. <laughs> no that's just my face okay yeah. all right so like in the eye line if you listen to that episode periodically i'll just be like jesus because he's just sitting there with this blank face holding this fucking haunted doll and i'm like what the fuck um so i go up to him after the show and i'm like hey i'd love to have you on as a guest on comedy film Freeze. he goes I've been listening for a long time, which is yeah. fantastic. What turned was it? Douglas movies that turned you onto the show, probably. Or yeah, I started listening to Douglas movies mm-hmm. years ago. Like he's how long has it been? Now? Eight years, nine yeah. years. Yeah, he's been doing it. Yeah. We started ours in end of '09. He probably started a year before then. Yeah, right. mm-hmm. yeah. So uh, yeah, I started listening to you guys as well, and yeah, oh, and cool. I'm yeah, kind of disappointed that it's not in the Gargoyle Garage. <laughs> <Yeah. anymore>. <laughs> <laughs> I know you said you when you got in here like. <laughs> You looked around the studio, which we think is very nice, and it's air conditioned. You're like, oh man, how long have you guys been here? Like, I yeah. really want to be in <laughs> the garage and see. Yeah. The, the, the... Maybe we should bring a gargoyle into here. I think we should, Chris. And yeah. We should put it right in front of the, the camera that's yeah. for the um, the uh, YouTube channel. Yeah, I think we'll start doing that. Yeah, bring a bring the gargoyle. Yeah, for the kids. Mm-hmm. Um, they demand it. <laughs> they demand it. <laughs> I wish we had shelves or something behind us. So, like for this episode, I would have. David, bring the Annabelle doll and just have and, it behind us and stare at people. And YouTube. Yeah, that wouldn't creep anybody out. No, that's <laughs> no. right. And then, if we could slowly make it move so yeah. people jump, <laughs> I would fucking jump out of my chair if that happened. Um, so let's talk a little bit about how you... We'll get into the whole Annabelle later in the show when we when we watch, because we all watch the trailer and we'll talk mm-hmm. about the, the trailer that came out. Because first you made a... We'll talk about your kind of evolution towards the, the movie. Like you started with a yeah. short film. Yeah, I mean, it's every filmmaker's dream, really. Like, so I'm, I'm from Sweden, mm-hmm. and, you know, I've been trying to make genre of films, just short films there for a long time, and haven't been able to get any money for that. So together with my wife, Lotta, who's, you know, an actress, and, you know, we create things together, um, we were like, well, let's just start doing things just you and I. You know, I have a camera, and we'll just shoot things in our apartment. And yeah, Lights Out was the second film we made, just a two and a half minute short that we put up online. And then all of a sudden it went viral online, starting getting millions of views. Really? And all of a sudden all these people were getting in touch with us. At first it was like journalists who wanted to like, oh, what's it like to have a viral video and, and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And then actual people from Hollywood, like agents, managers, producers, studios, like it was insane how much attention you could get from a two and a half minute short. 
Um, and, you know, I, I, like I had to make a spreadsheet of everyone I talked to and what was said last just to keep track of everything. Wow. And, like, I, have, I had to get, like, an IMDb Pro account to just to see, like, who are these people? Like, do they actually <laughs> represent? Are they for real? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are they, because I didn't know. Like, yeah. Were you still living in Sweden at the time? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and th- that was the thing. Like, I was... So I had these agents and managers who wanted to represent me, and I was like, yeah, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> and, and they were like, so can you come out to L.A. to have meetings with people? And I was like, no, I have no money at all. <laughs> like, just, just no. I'm a short filmmaker. Yeah. I don't know if you understand what that means. <laughs> um, but then eventually, you know, this producer, Lawrence Gray, wanted to make it into a feature, and through him we got into, into contact with James Wan, and James Wan has his uh, deal with New Line. Mm-hmm. So all of a sudden... You know, things were coming together, and they were like, "We'll fly you out here, meet everyone," and then before you know it, it was like, "Yeah, movies happening. Just pack your bags, get over here." So, you know, my wife and I would just had to lock our door at home and get on a flight and get over here, and it, it was just insane how fast everything went. Did you have a feature version of the script ready to go? No, no, <laughs> <laughs> no, no this was never supposed to be a feature. This was just a little short. Like it was like this online contest. Mm-hmm. Um, to make a, an under three minute horror short, uh, and like we didn't win the contest. I, I won best director, but it didn't make the top six finalists. So we were like, "Oh, well, that that was cool. Let's keep doing this." And it, then a couple of months later, it it went big, and yeah, then we had to start thinking, "Okay, what would a feature version of this be?" And I had to sort of yeah think backwards, or yeah. And so then, how, how long ago was this? So it went viral in 2014, and then in 2015, yeah, they flew me, flew us over here and made the movie, and it came out last year, 2016. So people keep telling me, like, don't get used to things <laughs> moving that fast or going that well in, in Hollywood because that's not how it happens. And, yeah, we, like, got to shoot it here in L.A., which no movies shoot here anymore. And, right. like, mm-hmm. it, it's, I've been extremely lucky. And, and then, then it, and it led to Annabelle. Yeah, because uh, Lights Out did really well. Well, it was actually before then, because so when we were in post production on um, Lights Out, you know, we had tested it with audiences, and it tested really well. So the studio was very happy and said, like, would you want to make Annabelle too? Like, we're making a sequel to that. And at first, I was like, like I don't know what else can you do with that. Like, is there is it just going to be the same thing again with? You know, same family, and the doll just comes back. Like, what do you do with that? But then they sent me the script uh, by Gary Dauberman. It was like, like it, you know, first of all, it's a prequel, but it's also like a completely different story. So it felt like, okay, this is unique enough that I can do something with that. And then, again, things just moved really fast. So I went straight into that before Lights Out had even come out. So when we had the premiere of Lights Out, I, I was shooting Annabelle on the Warner lot. So it's like... Yeah, we have to wrap early because I'm going to the premiere of my other movie. Wow. It's just insane. Like, it's you know, ride like the being wave. A, yeah, it's mm-hmm. like being a lottery winner. You know, mm-hmm. save your money. You never know when they're going to just. Get- <laughs> I know. <laughs> no, but but that's been the whole thing. The whole the whole time, you know, my wife and I have been like, well, this can fall apart at any second. Right. So we have to be prepared for that. Uh, and it's not until now that we're a little bit like, well, you know, things are still going pretty well. So maybe. Maybe this could actually be a thing, mm-hmm. you know. Maybe we can actually stick around in, in the U.S., you know. That's cool. You know? Is your yeah. wife going to be in every movie? Well, yeah. And we want to <laughs> do things together. So, I mean, that that was a, a thing with, uh, you know, she should have really been like a producer on, on Lights right. Out. Mm-hmm. Um, but, we like, we didn't, since this, this was our shot at Hollywood, we didn't want to push, you know. Right, like, right, like right, yeah, right. she has to be a producer. I have to write it myself or, uh, right. you know, so it. it we figured that they might just say, well, then, then it's off. Yeah, so go the like, fuck uh, back to Sweden, friend. You're, yeah. Yeah, exactly. yeah, pretty much. It's yeah. like, yeah, I don't want to push too, <laughs> sure, push my luck too much, you know. Mm-hmm. But we're sort of correcting that now and that she's, we're going to produce things together. And, oh, great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Um, well, that's cool, man. Very and, cool. And we'll, we'll talk about Annabelle 2 a little later on. Yes. Let's get it. I tried first. Kitten heads across the 